stay tuned and let's take a look at this Marvel Legends Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 Deluxe Groot. Pow, and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. And remember now you can hit that join button and become a channel member as well. Either show some love or join the members club. Much, much appreciated. Today, finally, the embargo is over and I can talk about these Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 figures as I have the whole wave reviews incoming on the channel. But I thought I would start off with this big behemoth. It is, of course, the Deluxe Groot. Now, we haven't seen the movie. We've only seen the trailer. So we don't have much context of these giant wings or even baby Rocket there. Is he de-evolved? Is it one of Rocket's kids? We shall find out, but we have seen Adolescent Groot in the Guardians Christmas special on Disney+. Plus. He didn't do a lot though, so I'm hoping he does a little bit more in the movie. But it further adds to this sort of evolution of Groot, these incarnations of Groot we already have in plastic in Marvel Legends form, so I'm not mad to get this version. So there we have the boring plastic-free packaging. Good riddance to you. Thank God the windows are coming back as we just get a digital render on the front. Guardian logos there, Guardian logo up top, uh, a sort of concept art on the side digital render on that side more digital renders on the back that does tell you the size and the accessories he comes with as i said i'm very curious of this one let's get it open here we have our deluxe crew out of the packaging with all of his accessories on the table so the main event is of course these wings now i just hope they're in the movie because sometimes the disadvantage of early action figures means they're based off early concept art which sometimes gets cut from the film entirely so let's hope that these wings turn up in the film so it makes the figure more accurate for display but we'll look at them in a minute he does come with a set of interchangeable fisted hands as well but most interestingly at least for me we get a little baby rocket raccoon now i am very curious to see how this story plays out with rocket hopefully it's not a sad ending because i don't know if i can handle it but little baby rocket looks cute it is just one solid piece of plastic though i'll move that to the side look at him in a minute and groot himself looks impressive the back of the box says he is seven and a half inches tall let's put that to the test here's my tape measure and yeah they're about right just to seven and a half which is what the box states nice big chunky character design we have seen it already in live action in that disney plus christmas special and it looked a little awkward not gonna lie but based off what we've seen in the trailer it definitely looks more fun uh, in the movie side so let's hope that's the case completely pinless marvel legend with all the points of articulation you would expect limited i'm sure because of the chunkiness of the design but uh yeah i'm liking what we see here looking very nice bits of green all over the front not so much on the back which is usually the case but very nicely sculpted nice head sculpt as well let's zoom in Check it out. Zooming in, it definitely seems like Groot has got past those grumpy teenage years as he definitely seems a little bit happier here with that cheeky little grin. And even though it is basically a tree trunk with a face, they are still using the digital face printing tech, which gives those eyes a sense of realism. And they do have a little bit of a glimmer to them. So I like that as well. I like the sculpted detail with the lines going around the face. You've got a little bit of green as well poking through up top. Not as much detail up top. Sometimes we get like branches and stuff sticking out. But still, I like what we've got here. Uh, for what it is it is very very nicely done uh, nice sculpted detail uh, on that face sculpt and if I zoom out a little bit it is a disc and hinge so you can bury the chin and get him looking up and of course you get your swivel there as well so and then the same detail continues on the rest of the body this is very nicely done and it seems like they have done a little very subtle wash uh, over this to bring out some of the sculpted detail uh, because undoubtedly it is nicely done nice green patches as well just sporadically pouted around the figure you get a little bit of a branch sticking out there on the arm um, down here on the legs as well again completely pinless figure uh, but it doesn't sacrifice the articulation like see this shoulder pad here there's a separate piece which is soft enough to lift up so the arm is still a regular socket so the arm literally goes past 90 no problem at all bicep swivel single jointed elbow which is usually the case with these bigger figures and then you get a hinge in the wrist as well so very nice amount of range there uh, for Groot you get this diaphragm cut which is where you're going to get your swivel uh, a little bit of back and forth as well a little, little back and a little forward uh, and then down to the legs you get the thigh cut single jointed knees which go to about 90 and then you get uh, a sort of ankle pivot but I guess you call it tree trunk 
pivot because there you go you get a bit of pivot there and then you also get a hinge in those tree trunks as well so as i said for what it is a very nice amount of articulation you are undoubtedly going to get him be able to get him into some great poses but it is all around about the sculpted detail here very nicely done i'm sure a little bit of extra paint would really bring out that but i still like what we get straight out of the box here and uh, we also get straight out of the box just a set of open palm hands so we can hold little baby rocket or maybe give the guardians a high five but we do also get a set of fisted hands of course so Groot can still go punching those bad guys or just for neutral poses uh, so nice to have those options uh, but the main event with this big Groot figure is those wings so let's try them on so on the back of Groot, there is a peg hole. The wings have a peg and you plug them in just like a backpack and then they plug in like so and very firmly just sit on his back. And let's just have a look at the detail here. So you do get some nice veins and roots and nicely sculpted with a little bit of green detail, but no wash on the back of the figure here. Same on this side, just a little bit of green. But as I said, it fits seamlessly with the rest of the body. Spinning it around to see his wingspan in its entirety. There we go. Looking very nice. Undoubtedly fits fits in with the rest of the figure. No articulation on these at all. Uh, and the wingspan is about 10 inches as well. So it's gonna take up some real estate on the shelf. I just hope that these are actually in the movie. As I said earlier, sometimes early figures are based off concept art. Let's just hope that this is canon and we can actually put it on the display. But as I said, clear some room because that wingspan is impressive. Uh, a little bit of dark wash on the wings, as you can see in that area there, a little bit of darkness to match some of the, the wash to bring out the sculpt on the body. But it's only on patches on these wings. Bit of green, bit of patch of darkness, but otherwise a little bit lackluster with paint, but it still fits seamlessly with the figure. So uh, it would have been good if they had articulation so you could pose them up or down, but again, not a big issue. Uh, it does look nice with the figure. I'm just curious to see how it plays out in the film. And I also wanted to note that little baby rocket does fit snugly into the hand. So that's not going to fall out of there if you shake him or display him like that. So that is a nice little addition to the display. Again, have no idea if it makes sense to the actual movie, but uh, as a nice little accessory piece, it's basically a, just a solid piece of plastic for what it represents. Looks pretty good. Little baby rocket. Ah. Moving into comparisons, and we had to start off with the evolution of Groot in Marvel Legends form. We genuinely have every incarnation of Groot from the movies in plastic for the display. All the way from little baby dancing Groot at the very end of Volume 1. Then we get baby Groot from Volume 2. We get teenage Groot from like Infinity War era. Now we get adolescent Groot. And then we have the original Groot from Volume 1. This is the original Builder figure as well from 2004. We did get that single pack as a Toys R Us exclusive where he had a smiley face. My one's a little bit grumpy. But there you go, the evolution of Groot. And that's not all we have in figure form. We even have little Ravenger Groot in the outfit there as well uh, as part of the crew as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six different outfits or versions of Groot in Marvel Legends form, not including the Toys R Us exclusive, of course, which is a, basically a re-release of the Builder figure. Uh, but there you go. Which is your favourite version of Groot? Let me know in the comments below. But in regards to scale, I think this looks pretty good and is very accurate. It will look great on display. Next up, we have Groot with the last Star-Lord we got from Love and Thunder. Not my favourite Star-Lord, to be honest. And then we have Rocket Raccoon from Volume 2. So let me just take out this Star Lord, because as I said, I don't like that one. So let me bring in a Volume 2 Star Lord, which is probably my favorite Star Lord, uh, and then a Volume 2 Rocket Raccoon. Because, of course, as I said, this Groot did appear in that sort of Christmas special, so we don't really need to pair up Groot with the matching uniforms just yet. You could still put him in a display like this, sort of. But of course, it is much more movie accurate if you pair him up with the matching uniforms. So here we have Star Lord and Rocket again in those Volume 3 uniforms. I do hope they're in the movie for like more than 10 minutes do you know what i mean like i hope they uh, have some relevance to the film let me bring in little baby rocket as well next to rocket so you can see him for a comparison and um, but yeah looking good bringing in a couple of comic figures just to plug my reviews on the channel of both star lord and yondu go and check them out now but could you use this Groot as a comic Groot in your display Maybe, I guess it's up to you. Here we have Groot compared to some of the Who crew with Frogman, Tigra and White Rabbit. And last but never least, here we have Groot compared to Captain Britain. And Hal, Fire, Hank. So, final thoughts on this Marvel Legends Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 Deluxe Groot. 
Now, I really like this figure. I knew I was going to, but getting it in hand, it really is impressive. It has a lot of articulation and range for such a big, chunky, awkward looking design. And it just adds to that anticipation for the movie. Like we haven't seen the film yet, but we have seen this version of Groot in live action. He didn't do a lot in the Disney Plus series, but looking at the trailer, I do think he's gonna have a bigger role to play, of course, in the movie. Uh, very curious to see where those wings end up as well. Hopefully they are in the film, so it makes this figure a little bit more desirable. Again, Baby Rocket, how's that going to end up? Like, Guardians is one of my favourite sort of properties within the MCU. Uh, so it's like bittersweet that the trilogy is coming to the end. But I am very excited for it. And getting the figures before they've seen the film just adds to that excitement and anticipation. Especially when the figures are good, like this one. Uh, I'm glad this wasn't a builder figure and they gave it the deluxe treatment. Because I do think it gets a little bit more attention there as well. Uh, especially with like the Baby Groot and you get the big wings as well. Interchangeable hands like enough posing range for the shaft to mix it up occasionally but as always you know me i love this stuff so you let me know what you think in the comments below you can love it you can hate it always curious to hear your thoughts and if you like marvel legends and well you're in the right place check out the videos tab find the playlists but most importantly please 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 hit that subscribe button hit all in the notification bell don't miss out in the video and please hit that join button become a channel member either show some love or join the members club much much appreciated you can follow me on instagram it's dan who i'm on twitter at dan who reviews and of course i have the rest of the guardians going to be reviewing them all week long so stick around on the channel and i will see you on the next one <laughs>